Say of the Worcester Business Journal with tonight's Central Mass Business Report. Cost pressures in healthcare have forced Reliant Medical Group to lay off 78 employees or about 3% of its workforce. Reliant said the layoffs came in response to a projected budget shortfall that was driven by several factors. Those factors include higher insurance deductibles being absorbed by patients, which is forcing them to shop around for services or delay care. Other factors include declining reimbursements and slower than projected growth in patient roles. Reliance said all 78 employees were offered severance packages and outplacement services. Meanwhile, Fallon Health is looking for a new CEO after Pat Hughes announced he will leave that job November 1st. Hughes led the health insurer for five years. He will be replaced on an interim basis by Richard Burke. He is Fallon's president of senior care services and government programs. Fallon recently announced it would cut 45 jobs. Those cuts are scheduled to take effect at the end of this month. The cuts are tied to the shutdown of Fallon's total care program. That program had served members eligible for both Medicaid and Medicare coverage for the last two years. Finally, owners of small businesses in the U.S. are bullish on their own prospects for the rest of this year, but they have major concerns about the country's economy as a whole. Those are the chief results from a survey conducted by Endurance International Group of Burlington. The survey found that 71% of small business owners have a positive outlook about their businesses, but less than half of those owners surveyed, 31%, feel the same about the economy. For more on these stories and others, please visit our website, wbjournal.com.